Hello and welcome. Today we are in the tier 8 Japanese battleship, the Amagi. And as you can see, we are in a tier 10 battle. As a bottom tier battleship, this can be quite difficult. But it gets worse. You see, there's a carrier in this game. Actually, correction, there are two carriers in this game per team. And one of the carriers is actually tier 10, meaning that this game went from difficult to... Well, more difficult. On the bright side though, look at this camel. It looks so good. This is the Azur Lane camel and it fits the Amagi so well. I think the camel itself looks great on many ships, but on Amagi in particular, it, it fits really, really well and I really like it. I wish we had more of this camel to be honest, but here you can see we have a Midway and a Shokaku and they have a Hakuryu and a Shokaku. So I, I actually think their CVs are better as ships as well. I definitely prefer the Hakuryo over the Midway, but I suppose as a battleship both are rather frustrating to play against, So especially a tier 8 battleship, so yeah, I don't like either. I'm gonna sit somewhere around here because, well, if I go out I'm likely going to go down very quickly because my concealment isn't great and my armor scheme is not quite meant to stand up against tier 10 battleships very well. And, you know, I also don't have the HP to do that. There are, uh, there are some cruisers at these types of tiers that have a similar amount of HP as my battleship, although I am unsure whether any of them are in this match. I mean, there is a Bismarck on the enemy team too, which probably has similar issues as I do, but, uh, well, you know, I'm me and, well, he's a Bismarck, so, you know, I hope his game doesn't go too well. Well, actually, it seems it already isn't. CV is dropping her and she's being attacked. Now, I can't stay where I was because there was a gearing spotted near the sea cap, an enemy gearing. So she could absolutely fire torpedoes at the Smolensk smokescreen and they could accidentally hit me. So I'm gonna go instead towards the middle. We can see a Z46. I didn't lead enough on that salvo. She's gonna accelerate prob- oh, never mind. I actually did lead enough. RNG just said no. That could have been a nice salvo if uh, the shells had been slightly better. Let's dodge these torpedoes. The only reason I'm gonna go into the middle cap is because a Grossa Kof has decided to do so. And I mean, if a GK goes in there, I can't say no exactly, can I? Besides, there are lots of interesting targets over here. I'd like to take a shot on the Yamato, but she is angled enough that I don't think I would have much success with it. My plan is to go for the big cap. Unfortunately, I think a Shokaku has already noticed me. So I don't know how well that plan will work out. Hopefully she goes for the Kofest. No, it does not appear that that's the case. But I mean, it's a CV, so the torpedoes probably aren't going to deal that much damage. Probably gonna take one of them. Come on, dodge. What? No. Damn. Almost. But the ship was slightly too wide. Oh well. The CV is gonna come again, but hopefully this time it hits the torpedo belt and does even less damage than that. Because CV torpedoes aren't exactly scary. You should be much more aware of uh, any other ships that might shoot you while you're trying to dodge the CV torpedoes. Those can actually end up dealing more damage and ouch. 40k damage to that Yamato. Well, thank you very much, that was delicious. Next up is to try to take a shot on the Ibuki because she is closer than the Hinden. Actually, maybe Hindenburg is a good shot too, because she is not angling at least. But we'll try to finish off the Ibuki because we should. Because that's the better move for the game. Worse for my own results, but better for the team. I'm gonna try to hide behind this island. I don't know if I can actually take this because that's another CV squad of planes coming in. Oh no, they're actually going after the GK. Okay, good. In that case, maybe I can take it, but I suppose the important thing is that I just block the cap for as long as possible. Even better if I never actually go down. Although considering how many planes there are, I don't think it's likely that I will be able to take this cap. And I think it's safer to just sail away because that's a Hakuryu coming towards me and I... There's nothing I can do about these torpedoes. Any kind of maneuvering here probably makes the situation worse. 
Like, I might be able to ram the island here and only take, like, one torpedo or none at all, but... The thing I have to be most afraid of are the battleships that put fire on me when I dodge these. And I... well, I guess I did manage to dodge them by turning into the island, but now I'm gonna be run aground and I might actually take more damage than the torpedo would have dealt. Maybe I can... oh, no, it seems I was able to miss the island. That's nice. Usually you can get stuck just like this when you go too close to an island. But maybe I can manage to pull through. Yeah, excellent. That's very good. Because this means that I'm gonna be safe from the battleship and cruisers. Oh, Shokaku is visible. And I think the Z-46 that is very close range might actually be the priority. But I mean, I do have a fighter plane or scout plane to tr take a shot on the Shokoku. And if we could uh, sink her, that would definitely lighten our load. Although I think that aim was a bit too high. That might very well just go over the ship. Come on, shells, please, please sink the Shokoku. I think the RNG isn't good enough. Yeah, that was slightly disappointing damage. I think um, cruiser found me again, but that'll be okay. Akuri are going after Zhao, it seems, but Zhao with the AP dive bombers, but Zhao is turning, so the angle is going to be pretty bad for the Hakuri. Zhao is going to probably take like 8k damage maximum. Next up is a shot on Georgia because she is basically the only ship we can see that we could actually shoot that. But we are going to... the team that is, is going to be able to take the big cap. Oh, Minotaur! Sadly, I've already fired my guns and she's gonna be behind the island by the time that my guns are reloaded. Oh, and Chokok was there again. And I got... actually managed to get the ribbon, but not many capture points. Wait, is she? She's barely moving. Hmm, I don't know how to fire. I think she's also turning in, so I'm gonna fire slightly lower. Torpedoes, I'm gonna take one of them for sure. Not only one, and it'll do like 6k damage. Make that 3,700. Yeah, I'm not gonna complain about that, considering... A penetration from a battleship actually does more damage. Like, she can hit me with those torpedoes quite a few times and I won't mind too much. The main thing I'm afraid of are AP dive bombers, but I don't actually know how they work against Yamagi. Do they work well? Because they can absolutely work versus ships like... Oh god, I'm showing broadside to a Yamato. That's dangerous, so I'm gonna start turning in immediately. That way, in case there was a salvo on the way, it would probably hit my superstructure and overpen. But now there's an island between me and the Yamato, and luckily Yamato shells do not overpen islands yet. You know, maybe in the future when Yamato needs a buff. Oh, Shokok was up again. Wait, is she slowing down? She disappeared, kind of. I don't know if that shot was on point. I'll try anyway. Maybe we'll get lucky. Yeah, it seems that uh, some AP dive bombers at least can sit a little the Yamagi with the bombers. I'm in a full turn, so these bombs coming for a second run shouldn't be as effective. They were absolutely nowhere near as effective. But now I need to disengage because we're down to 24k HP and we're being shelled at by a gearing from a smokescreen. So it's a good idea to just sail away, especially since we're in the lead. We are in the ship's lead and we're actually in the cap's lead too. So all we need to do to win is... Oh my god, did you see the dispersion on the first ship? Wait, what? Midway? What are you doing here? Um, You know... I sometimes make fun of people when I say things like, oh my god, battleship hiding behind the CV. But, I mean, this is a bit crazy, you know? I know that CVs are really hard to actually sink. One of the hardest ships, like the only ships that can sink CVs with ease are battleships. Everyone else can end up in this, these awkward situations where they just can't deal enough damage, and I suppose torpedoes too. I get that the CVs are super tanky, but I think she's still a bit overestimating the capabilities of the midway. 
maybe if she had like a 32 millimeter bow or something but um as she is right now not a good idea i suppose on the bright side though it means that the ships will f shoot the midway instead of me so that's a silver lining i guess Ooh, 11k damage times in our favor so i'm gonna just try to be safe because i think it's likely that if i were closer cv planes would come bother me again dang that yamato is in a pretty good spot the red one but i think our roma might have something to say about that because she seems to be advancing oh wait never mind the roma has 10k hp yeah and she won't have anything to say about that because the moment she pops out from behind the island uh Yamato, wait, what? The Roma is next to the gearing? What? What the hell? How did that even happen? Well, I suppose gearing found out what secondaries are. Anyway, we've lost three ships, they've lost five. Still had 28k HP left, considering it's a double CV game. We've survived rather well. I don't like where the planes are coming, but I think they're gonna divert towards the midway because she only has 7k hp so she'll likely go down to one or two torpedoes roma is gonna find out how devastating a yamato can be in a moment oh hindenburg's back wait no she's still reversing wait what no she's not reversing that was just me derping a little bit my aim was true but my guess wasn't well i suppose it's not true but uh i think i aimed correctly is what i meant to say shokoku is up again i could take a shot with a plane but i don't know if it's worth it maybe oh hindenburg's turning in yeah that's a very good shot in that case Yamato is likely to go down. She did sink the Roma, but it seems she has taken quite a bit of damage in the turn. I mean, we've lost a lot more ships, especially since we actually only have one of the CVs left now. We've lost five, they've lost six, but one of ours is a CV. Which unfortunately means that I actually think the enemy has slightly more... Okay, not... Maybe slightly more firepower than we do. If we lose a few more ships... This could easily turn into a loss, or at least a high likelihood of a loss. Oh, Minotaur, in the open water, please catch these. Minotaur, please do me a favor, and Shokoku planes are coming for me. They're rocket planes, so nothing I can really do about them. They'll just deal their damage and leave. Okay, 5k, not too bad. I mean, it's less than a torpedo. Sorry, it's more than a torpedo. That's alarming. Anyway. We still have 21k HP and 2 heals. We have a very low HP of this mark. We're at 850 points, so we're actually winning rather soon. Oh no, no, <laughs> it's Hakuryu rocket planes. I'm being rocket planed by CVs, and I'm probably going to go down to them eventually. That started a fire too, that's not great. I'm going to damage on it immediately because I don't think she can do run number 2 and... Well, I don't have the HP to let fires run at this point. I mean, yes, you can think, oh, but what if you get flooded or get set on fire again, but... Even if it's a single fire, it doesn't really matter, right? Because it would be a single fire right now or a single fire later. I, I'll take the single fire later. And flooding is not actually that dangerous. And wow, Hindenburg just hit me for 9.6k with AP. Damn. That AP hits hard. But it's supposed to. I am flooding, 6k HP. But we're at 970 points. Come on, can we save our ship? Timer, please. Also, uh, notice that the flooding actually has run out. CV planes are incoming, but 900, 9, 9, 988, 991, 994, come on, 997, and 1000, and we survived. 
with a sliver of health. But we did, and this is a CV game, double CV game, as a low, lowest tier battleship. I mean, I really shouldn't complain about that, right? Even though when I was actually playing this, my thoughts were, well, I would rather take the loss than play this match, but it actually ended up being a rather decent game. I mean, 140k damage is nothing to sniff at in a tier 8 battleship. 2238 base HP, almost number 1 actually. And I did shoot down, what, like 18 planes? That's pretty decent. 1.5 million potential only, but seriously, I took a lot of damage from these CVs. 22k? And I think I didn't take a normal torpedo at any point. That's what, 4.5k per torpedo? 10k from the four bomb heads and 5k from the rockets. And the fire is in floodings too. I mean... Yeah, I feel like CV damage in this game was not actually that big of a problem. It was mostly that because of the CV I couldn't risk going out there and fighting the other ships as I would have liked to. But maybe that actually did lead to a better game. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I would like to thank the patrons on Patreon. Thank you very much for your continued support, Nashira. And I hope I'll see you guys next time.